today We're gonna learn uh -huh. and play okay. Sing a song and pray That's right God really loves us God really, really cares About you, me, our families That's right God's always right my favorite cereal, Jungle Crunch! And on the back of the box was a jungle maze. It made me wonder. Do you ever wonder, friends? It made me wonder what it would be like to make it through a real jungle maze. To make it through a jungle maze, there are some things I need. First, I need my jungle hat. Next, I need my jungle vest. Now, of course, I need my parrot. I'll call her Patty. Patty the parrot. Okay, now I'm ready to enter the jungle maze. The maze entrance is kind of spooky, but not too spooky. There are some spider webs, but the spiders on it are friendly. Hey, spiders! And I'm in the maze! No turning back now. Where to next? Oh, no! I forgot one really, really, really important thing! A map! How am I going to find my way through this maze without a map to lead the way? Hmm, I wonder. I'm gonna keep wondering about this while we check out today's Bible story. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Exodus, chapters 7 to 10 and 12. God's people, the Israelites, were stuck in Egypt. They were treated very badly there. So God was about to get them out. God told a man named Moses to go to Egypt and lead the people out of there. To do so, Moses would have to follow God's lead. When Moses told Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, to let God's people go, he said, No! There wasn't much Moses could do, but there was a lot that God could do. He just had to follow God's lead. The first thing God did was tell Aaron, Moses' brother, to stretch his staff out over the Nile River. When he did, all the water in Egypt turned into blood. There was no drinking water to be found, but Pharaoh still wouldn't let God's people go. No! There still wasn't much Moses and Aaron could do, but there was still a lot that God could do. They just had to follow God's lead. God told Aaron to stretch out his staff again, and all of Egypt was filled with jumping, hopping frogs frogs everywhere but pharaoh still won't let god's people go no so god allowed more terrible things to happen to egypt these were called plagues after the frogs there came a bunch of bugs called gnats then came flies later came bigger bugs called locusts that ate up all the food ice and rain fell from the sky and then the sky turned completely dark so no one could see anything Animals and people got painful sores on their skin. Some animals died, and some people died. And through all of these awful plagues, the Israelites were safe because they listened to God and followed God's lead. After the 10th plague, Pharaoh finally said, get out. He finally let God's people go. Moses and Aaron must have been amazed at what God had done. They couldn't change Pharaoh's mind on their own. And they didn't have to. All they needed to do was follow God's lead. And the same is true for us. When we don't know what to do or how to do it, we follow God's lead. Wowzers! 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 God was guiding them out of Egypt like I need to be guided out of this pretend jungle maze. Wait a minute. If this pretend maze is in my room, which it is, <laughs> then I know exactly how to get to the Jungle Vine bookshelf. Maybe that's the way out of this pretend jungle maze. First, I take a left past those monkeys. Then, I take a right past those snapping turtles. Hi, turtles! And finally, I head straight ahead to the Jungle Vine bookshelf. There is my Bible, and I made it out of the pretend jungle maze. That was super fun! Thanks for pretending with me, friends. I may not ever get lost in a real jungle maze, but 
I get confused about things sometimes. And sometimes I don't know what to do next. Like when things don't seem to go my way. Or when someone plays something that hurts my feelings. I can always pray when that happens. And I know God will help me because... We follow... God's lead! Thanks for learning and growing with me, friends. Bye!